Welcome back to the Hive Doctor of BeeNativeHoney.com. Today we're going to start talking about when is the best time to start beekeeping. Through the years I've given a lot of bee talks to interested groups who always want to learn more about beekeeping. And one of the biggest questions I get is, when's the best time to start beekeeping? And I guarantee that it's not what you think. So stick around. One of the biggest questions in beekeeping is when is the best time to start? And the majority of the answers you're gonna hear is springtime, and sometimes you'll hear summer. Well, that's a great time to get your bees, but it's not the best time to start beekeeping. Now, beekeeping starts with you. <laughs> um, Self-educating yourself. The winter time is a perfect time for this because bees are not yet available for sale or shipping. Um, these bees right now, this winter, will be in a dormant state. They'll be in a tight cluster inside the hive just trying to stay warm. They won't be flying, hardly any, uh, during the whole winter. In fact, I won't even disturb them. It's important to let them do their thing during winter and to leave them alone. So the best time to start is winter for you so that you can start to educate yourself. It's important that you prepare your mind for what you're getting into. Most of us, when we start to plan a family, we find out, oh, we're gonna have a baby. Uh, a lot of people will start to get a book here and there uh, and educate themselves on what to expect during each trimester. Or you might start planning a registry so that you can get the stroller and the bassinet and the, uh, the baby stuff. Um, but the point is preparation means that you're going to be ready. doesn't mean you're going to be like 100% knowing what you're doing with that baby or even with bees, but at least you'll be ready. The last thing you want to do is to wait till spring to start learning about bees. Because then you, when you get the bees, you're not gonna know what to do. You're not gonna understand what any of this equipment is, how to manage it. So it's important that you do this. I'm gonna give you some of the things that in winter time, you need to consider for your beekeeping operation so that when springtime comes and your bees are ready for pickup, you will be ready. So the things that you wanna consider are protective gear. You've got full body suits. You've got veil and jacket style. You've got minimal veil styles. Which one is right for you? I'll have a video just for that. Eventually, links below. Tools. I'm gonna to recommend to you the basic tools that you're gonna need, and no more than that. Of course, you can expand later, but I'm trying to help you not break the bank. And three, last thing is equipment. That's what the stuff is you see behind me. There's so much beekeeping equipment and each piece of it needs a specific, needs to be managed in specific ways. We're gonna have a video just for that as well. So what I'm gonna recommend that you start with is something called a Langstroth style beehive. And they come in eight and 10 frame box sizes. The ones you see behind me here are Langstroth style. And these particular boxes are 10 frame boxes. That just means that they hold 10 frames inside. And in future videos, we'll be looking inside, and that'll make a lot more sense of what that means. But if you're someone that uh, has a bad back, or you know that lifting heavy stuff is not really your thing, I would go with an 8-frame, because it's going to be lighter, easier to maneuver, easier to pick up, and uh, move around. So this winter, while you're deciding those three, those three things, which ones are right for you, what you also need to be doing for yourself is educating yourself about honeybees, the honeybee colony, like the caste system, for example. What does that even mean? Well, that's the, the different bees in the hive. There are three different castes. The queen bee, which we've all heard of, worker bees, which there's thousands of, they do all the work, and then the drone bees. What are their roles? And did you know that worker bees even have different roles depending on their age? But learn about what goes on inside the hive. Get a basic book on beekeeping and read it this winter, educate yourself. So by the time that you're ready to uh, get your bees, you get a call and saying that they are ready for pickup, you'll have your hive equipment ready. I'm gonna help you do that. You'll have the best spot picked out. I'm gonna help you do that. And you'll have all of the protective gear, tools and equipment that you're gonna need. And you'll have some familiarity with all of those. It won't be a surprise to you. Everything will still be new, but it won't be a shock. And so that's what I encourage all of my students to do, prospective students who are wanting to get into beekeeping, is to start beekeeping in the wintertime, preparing yourself so that you're ready when the springtime comes around. 
Those are the things you need to educate yourself on. And when you do, these videos are gonna make a lot more sense. I'm gonna point out tons of stuff when we do in-hive work and uh, in-hive inspections, but they'll make more sense to you if you take the initiative for yourself to be success, or excuse me, to be successful from the get-go. If you haven't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, and uh, give me a like as well so that more people can see what organized beekeeping looks like. It's my goal to present to you an organized way to beekeep because you're gonna have a lot more fun and it's gonna be way more enjoyable and you'll save money too. The majority of hobby beekeepers I know and, and am acquainted with are the most disorganized bunch of people that I know. Uh, great minds have all these great ideas, but when it comes to organization, I see a lot of loss when it comes to how they manage their equipment. And beekeeping is an investment. It should be treated with, with respect. You should treat yourself with respect by taking care of your things. And that's just one thing I'm gonna share and, and teach you how to do. Beekeeping is already hard enough on its own. It's got a very long learning curve, but it's my job to shorten that learning curve for you, take the guesswork out of beekeeping so that it's not so hard and it's not as difficult as it was for me learning. So stick with me. Thank you for joining the Hive Doctor. See you in the next video.